So I was called to diagnose this vehicle. This vehicle has an intermittent um, can issue. So what I'm going to do is it used to drive. So I brought it home and now it's no longer driving. And you can see the ignition is on, but the P is not showing. That was the customer complaint. The P is not showing. So let me do auto scan. So the whole issue is when you do auto scan, it, it will not communicate. Um, I moved it out this morning and when the sun came out, the car is not responding to anything again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to scan the whole vehicle. It will not work. So what we have to do is um because i did the scan yesterday because i did the scan yesterday so let me go to history and read it from there because there is no communication between the pcm and the vehicle has at now and the rest of the unit or the, let me say the cluster has at now so the car starts you see it's running but there is no signal showing on the cluster like the car is running so this vehicle communicates most of the time with with obd uh, sorry with car lines so let me enter into the system now there is no communication so uh, as i'm seeing it it looks like there is no communication between the transmit uh, between the transmission, the PCM, and other modules. So I'm coming to scan the vehicle and see. And first, the previous fault code it was reporting about. Can let me see if I'll find the previous fault code that was yesterday when I did the scan. So that was yesterday when I did the scan. I should be able to find those fourth code. Uh, and yesterday when I did the scan, I was able to communicate with the PCM and other things. So you can see I got my VIN. The PCM, the transmission, all of them were having fourth code. And most of their fourth code is can related. You can see can see bars off. So that means I'm having issue with that system. So you can see can see bars off, can see bars off. And this morning I'm not able to communicate with the uh, vehicle. So that means I'm not able to communicate with the controlling it that's why i'm not able to get the vent so i'm using the previous history to do my communication so now i'll do auto scan and see the control unit that i'll be able to scan that will let me know the actual problem if i'm not able to scan the first three control units then that means i'm having issue going to the front of the vehicle that means the engine bay control units are not communicating and those are the control units on the can see bars of us it was reporting that it had an issue so if you can see no response no response no response so that means i have to start attacking it from that side and i've done a little research with my wiring diagram concerning the can system i have to um i have to approach the next thing is i have to check my can signal and see if my can signal is okay then after checking my can signal and, and getting to know that my can signal is okay the simplest thing i can do to know where the actual problem is coming from is to jump from the um engine bay to my breakout box to my breakout box so that i'll see if the system will be able to communicate then i know that okay on my can see bars the issue is related to the other can see unit so if you can see when i scan i'm not able to communicate with the blind spot also 
which tells me that the blind spots and other units are all on the currency. So it could even be that at a junction or at a point, that's where I'm not able to communicate with it. So with this one, what I'll do now is I will I will do that test. And if I'm able to communicate with this unit, then I know that, okay, it is from the, it is in between. Um, it is in between. So the problem will be in between my car line that will connect to the other control unit or that that will connect to the other system for me to get access to can diagnosis so i'll do that and bring you guys back so uh, um this um anytime you are reading the wiring diagram and you see multi-purpose connector this is the multi-purpose connector so i'm testing on pin i think pin 9 I'm testing on it and uh, you can see the can I'm having. Yeah, this is a horrible can signal. So the last two, which they say is six, I think six and 14, is a can communication between the PCM, the TCM, and also one control in it. And you can see I'm having a bad can communication. So with this one, I'm having a bad can communication. And with this one also, I'm having a bad can communication. What I'm going to do is we will go inside and check from the OBD port and see the kind of communication we'll get. So with this, you can see that this can line is still horrible. Once I've connected it to this system, the can line is really horrible. So that tells me that uh, the next thing I have to do is I have to start disconnecting. But when you check these ones are not can line, they are Lane communication or other communication protocols that the system is using. So these ones are not can lines, but you can see the way they are good. So it's not like I'm having any ground issue. So what I'm going to do now is you can see the way the can lines are horrible. So that means you see that one unit is causing all these things. So the next thing I have to do is I have to go back to the control unit and start disconnecting the control unit one by one till I find the one that will make the can line stable. I'm hoping that one shouldn't be a unit that contains, uh, that has the 12, uh, sorry, that has the 120 ohm resistor in it, or let's say the terminal resistor in it. So let me start disconnecting control unit and see which one that will bring the can line back to life. So there is the can C, which the system is reporting that is off. This is how bad the can line is. So this is the transmission control unit. Let me disconnect that one because that one is easy to get to. Wow. Looks like I'm seeing some green green thing in it. Let me see if the can line is here. You can see that there's some green green corrosion thing in it. Let me disconnect the other side also and see if there is any better change in the can line no, there's the change is not that much yeah so i think let me plug to this one so i'll forget that one then continue with my search although there is green corrosion in it that one i'll come to it later and deal with it so let me disconnect the and <laughs> Let me disconnect this. Anytime you are doing these things, eh, uh, I'll urge you not to disconnect when the ignition is on. So you can see my car line is just off, off the radar. You can see my car line is just off the radar. So let me plug this control unit back. Plug this one also back. Okay, so now let me still find for the exact can line which is causing this issue. So it tells me this is also. So the ABS is also on that same line. So let me disconnect it and bring you guys. So with this one, I've disconnected the ABS. You can see the ABS is disconnected, but I'm still having 
the can issue so i'm plugging it back so the abs is not fixing the problem so i've fixed it i fixed it my abs back so now i have to change the other connectors and see which one will let the can line be stable so after checking my wiring diagram it showed me that there is a, a, a circuit here which we call so this is the f uh, sorry cf11 so i've disconnected the cf11 let me check my can now and see voila you can see that now my can is okay so this is the can c controlling it related to the front engine b so that means everything in here is perfect let me check these ones also they are really horrible but my main focus is here so now i know where to go for the uh, where to go from here so now i'll move to the next stage whereby so let me fix the connector and see if this scan line will be distorted again so now i've fitted my connector back and <laughs> i don't know what happened but my can line is back hey, sorry my p is back and you can see the shift module is also showing p so that tells me that my can signal is back live and you can see although my can line is back it looks a little bit disturbed so that means it could be from the other control unit on the other line so for now i'm able to st i'll start the vehicle and go to town and when i come back i'll come and continue my diagnosing but before i can continue my diagnosing i need the fault to happen again or even if it doesn't happen i'll continue disconnecting the unit that i need to disconnect so that i can fix it thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos so with this one what i'll do now is um i will start and see if okay now my rpm is working so let me turn on the ignition and see if everything is going to come back yeah so now everything is working perfectly it's an intermittent issue so i'll bring it back home and hope it happens again then i'll be able to identify it so now i know where my can issue is and how to get close to it thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos so now what i'll do is let me do auto scan this intermittent issue can lock you up somewhere so i have to fix this issue for the client so with this one let me do auto scan i should be able to, you should be able to pull the vein because of yeah so it's able to pull the vein now so i'll wait for it to happen again then i'll continue my diagnosing to find which actual module is causing the issue from there that one i will be able to know what to do best <laughs> and even with this one with the kind of can line i'm getting i can still use that one to identify the actual problem so you can see now i'm able to scan and communicate with some of the control modules yeah and the ones that i'm not able to communicate with them i'm able to communicate with them now so it's due to that that's why the can bars went off so now let me check yeah it doesn't have the advanced braking uh, emergency braking and let me see if i'm able to communicate it doesn't have lane departure i'm able to communicate with the blind spots and everything yeah so now i'll hold on for it to happen again then i'll continue my diagnosing from there